So how can we do it? U substitution. Good idea. Right here, let me just take the U to be the bottom, namely e to the x minus 1, right? And then the usual thing. du is equal to e to the x, and then we have dx, and then divide the e to the x on both sides, we get dx equals 1 over e to the x du. Very good. Now have a look. This is going to be the following. Integral, again, we are going to change the numbers. x is going from L12, right? So put the L12 here. u will be equal to e to the Ln2 minus 1, which is just 2 minus 1. That's 1. And then, of course, you can also check for infinity. e to the infinity minus 1. That's going to give you infinity. So for this, it will be from 1 to infinity, just like earlier, but you don't have the square root. Right? So this is still the same number because square root of 1 is 1. Square root of infinity is infinity. Yes. Anyway. All right. Now, go back here. Here we have 1 over the bottom is just how are you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't write it down nice enough. All right. 1 over u. Dx is this. Namely, 1 over e to the x. Du. Uh-oh. Nothing can be canceled yet. Uh oh, e to the x is still here. But we did the question earlier, right? Have a look. Let's add 1 on both sides. In another word, we know e to the x is equal to, in this case, is u plus 1. Good. Let's put that right here, right? So you will see that here we will have the integral going from 1 to infinity. And this is just 1 over u times... This right here is our u plus 1. And of course, we still have the du right here. Now, how can we work this out? This is u to the first power times u to the first power plus 1. So we can do partial fractions nicely, right? And we can even use the cover method. Very good. So here we go. This is going to be the integral from 1 to infinity. For the first fraction, we will have some number over u. And then for the second fraction, is some other number over u plus 1, like this. All right. To figure out this number, the denominator is u. So we go back to the original. You cover this up. And how can you make u equal to 0? I said it already. 0. u has to be 0. Then you put 0 into this u. 1 over 0 plus 1 is just 1. Right there. Good. Now, to figure out this number, you go back to the original and you cover out the same denominator and you ask yourself, how can you make u plus 1 equal to 0? u has to be negative 1. You put negative 1 right here and work that out. 1 over negative 1, we get negative 1. Like that. Very nice, huh? EU. And then, let me just put down the work right here because I ran out of space. Alright, integrating 1 over u, we get ln u. And I don't need the absolute value because we are just going from 1 to infinity. So use positive. Continue. Here you have the minus and then integrating 1 over u plus 1. You also get ln of u plus 1 like this, right? Then, of course, we have to plug in numbers and all that. However, it's not a good idea to put the infinity here and here because we get infinity minus infinity. The better way to do it is you combine the natural logs first, which is ln u over u plus 1, like so. And then you plug in numbers. Well, when I put infinity to here and here, I will have to take the limit. I will have to do it on the side to show work, right? To just make sure that this right here turns out to be nice. So let me write down the limit as u goes to infinity. And then we have the ln of u over u plus 1, like this. Now, if we put infinity into here and here, we get infinity over infinity. You can do Lapidus rule. But this right here is just a rational situation, right? So you can do the following. On the top, just care about the highest degree of the u, which is just u. On the bottom, you just care about the highest degree of the, the u. It's just u. <laughs> so you can see, when u goes to infinity, the inside is just going to be 1. So you end up with ln of 1. And of course, that will be 0. All right? So, we can come back here, when we have this infinity here, the first thing that we get is 0. 
short work right here. It's legit, all right? Then we are going to subtract, and then we will just have to put the one into the ln. ln of one over one plus one, like this. Right? Finally, we'll see that this is just negative ln of one half. And in fact, we can do the following because this number looks negative, but it's not. Here, you see, this is negative ln. One half, we can write this two to the negative one power. And then we can put the power to the front, but do not minus one. This is not derivative. This is just a natural law property. In the end, negative negative becomes positive. So we can say this right here is just nicely equal to ln two. So the one without square root, you end up with ln2. The one with square root, you end up with pi over 2. Which one do you like more? Natural log or the pi? Let me know. Anyway, as always, that's it.